Affiliate marketing. You clicked on this video, so you've likely heard the term before, but you want to know how to do it correctly. If so, you are in the right place. Not only have I personally made hundreds of thousands of dollars doing affiliate marketing myself, but I've also paid out over $600,000 to affiliates for promoting my own program. So I understand both sides to this, and I can tell you what I've personally done doing affiliate marketing and what my top affiliates who I've paid out hundreds of thousands of dollars to have also been doing. Now, previously here on the channel, I created a video called The Laziest Way to Make Money Online, where I said that affiliate marketing is in fact the laziest way of earning on the internet. And that's because you don't have to create a product, you don't have to handle customer fulfillment, and it really just comes down to promoting. Now there's so many creators out there talking about affiliate marketing, there's so much data, courses, guides, and frankly, so many platforms that I understand it can get overwhelming for a complete beginner. And that's why I'm creating this video right here so I can just give you a step-by-step -step instructions of exactly how to get started with affiliate marketing. And step number one when it comes to doing this is finding the right thing to promote and being set for life. They might be saying, Matt, are you exaggerating saying I could potentially be set for life if I just find the right product to promote? No, I am not at all exaggerating. And that's due to the fact that I've sold millions of dollars of products online. And that's due to the fact that I know many affiliates who have made so much money doing affiliate marketing that they're able to eventually retire from the amount of money that they made. Now, just because you watch this video, I can't guarantee you'll make millions of dollars, but I'm going to show you exactly what all the top affiliates that I know, as well as myself are doing in order to do this correctly. Now, before you go about choosing a product, it's important to choose your overall niche or audience that you're going to be targeting. And what I recommend doing is just opening up like a Google document and writing down 10 things that you are personally interested in. This could be anything from what you do as a job to your hobbies or literally anything else that you have even a remote interest in. And keep in mind, you do not have to be a world renowned expert on that topic because we are just going to be promoting and sending traffic to somebody else's product in which we then get a commission when we get a sale. So after you have your list of 10 ideas, then what I recommend doing is comparing this to the list of the following categories, health, wealth, relationships, technology, and travel. And then from there, it's time to check affiliate marketplaces for a good product that relates to one of those topics that you've narrowed down. Some good affiliate networks can include digistore24.com and clickbank.com. Now, the reason I'm recommending these marketplaces is due to the fact that they're mostly digital products. And that's really important important because every time you get a sale on a digital product, you don't have to pay fulfillment fees or anything else that goes along with it, as opposed to if you're advertising a product from Amazon, for example, where you hardly make any money per sale. Now, what exactly is a digital product and what are you going to be promoting? Well, a digital product is, for example, an online course, a guide, an ebook, something with very high profit margins that can also help the end customer as well. So it's important that the product we choose charges at least $500 to $1,000 per sale, because if you get 50% of that, say it's a thousand dollar product, you make $500 for every sale that you make. And if you get just 20 sales per month, boom, you're making $10,000 per month compared to if you're promoting something from the Amazon affiliate program, you get 20 sales on a hundred dollar product, but you only get five to $10 of that. You're not going to be making that much money unless you're getting thousands of sales per month. So I want to make it easy for you. Choose a 500 to a thousand dollar digital product and websites like Digistore 24 are filled with them. Now, not every product is going to be good though. So in my opinion, it is important to test out the product prior to promoting it. And this can be done by simply buying the product yourself. You're investing that money to make sure that it's a good product before you go out there and promote it to the world. They can sleep good knowing it's going to be actually helping people. And an example of this is my own personal program called Tube Mastery and Monetization, which teaches people how to grow profitable, faceless YouTube channels. And if you go on Digistore24 and you go to the marketplace, you'll notice that next to the product, we have a link to the affiliate support page. And on there, we give tons of free videos and pictures and instructions on how to promote. And another way of finding good products is to go on YouTube channels that teach about specific topics and then seeing if they sell an online course. And if they do, if you go down to the footer of their website, very often there will be a link that says join our affiliate program. That can be another way of finding good products to promote. Another really good type of product to promote can be software. And that's due to the fact that when people sign up for a software, it's typically a monthly recurring charge. And if you can become an affiliate for a software that pays you every single month, even though you won't be making as much right away, over time, it can be really nice to
to have that monthly recurring income. And I personally have a student, Kari, who promotes software and makes over $10,000 per month doing it from his YouTube channel that isn't even that big. Step number two for affiliate marketing is to choose a platform. After you've chosen your niche, it's important to choose a good platform for promoting our product. And this is the part where most people go wrong. And that's due to the fact that they don't follow this advice, whether they have more money than time or time than money. And it's important to think about this so you don't go out spending all your money on ads, whereas you could have invested your time and made a lot more money that you could then go ahead and invest in ads. So ask yourself, do you have more time than money or more money than time. If you have more time than money, then it's important to go after what is called free traffic. This is traffic that is free financially, but it does cost you in some of your time for getting that traffic. And this is great for beginners. Even if you only have a couple hours per day to invest in doing this, this is the best way to start. However, if you have more money than time, then you can invest some of that money for you without going ahead and spending hours getting traffic by using what is called paid traffic. Now let me just straight up give you three of the best free traffic and paid traffic options. Free traffic option number one, which is by far the best on the entire internet, and I've tried literally everything, it's YouTube. And the reason YouTube's the best is because when you upload a video to YouTube, it lives on that platform forever into the future, and you can keep getting sales from your videos for years into the future. That being said, most people give up on YouTube because it usually takes 10 to 60 videos before you start really getting getting traction on your channel that can then start converting into sales. So most people give up, not even knowing that if they just kept with it, they could potentially just be one video away from their entire channel taking off and growth on YouTube is usually exponential. So it's kind of like rolling a really big snowball up a hill. It takes a lot of effort getting it started in the beginning, but once you push it over the top of that hill, it can start to take on a life of its own as it comes down and grows bigger and bigger. And just think about that in terms of the amount of money that you can make from YouTube over time from affiliate marketing. And what's awesome about YouTube also is that you can do it without even being an influencer and without ever even showing your face. If you do want to do those things, that's great. You can still make a ton of money doing that. But if you don't want to show your face, you can literally just create screen recording tutorials using software like OBS related to the topic of what you're promoting and just modeling already popular videos that are out there. And I personally got to the point of making $27,000 per month from YouTube. And I wasn't even showing my face at the time here on this channel make money Matt when I was starting now shameless plug for tube mastery and monetization if you want to learn how to grow a YouTube channel the fastest way possible and just skip all the trial and error you can check out tube mastery down at the link below free traffic source number two is Instagram Instagram isn't as good as YouTube due to the fact that you won't keep getting a ton of traffic if you stop posting on it but that being said I do think it's a nice backup to have and it's a nice way to diversify the traffic you're getting once you're getting some traffic on YouTube focusing on YouTube for first would be my personal suggestion. Then once you start your Instagram, make sure to put your affiliate link at the link in the bio on your page and post regular content using hashtags related to your niche. And this can be completely faceless content. I know a lot of people who run faceless theme pages on Instagram and make a lot of money from them, but you do have to consistently be posting on Instagram in order to keep getting traffic as opposed to YouTube, where if you upload 30, 60 videos, those videos can keep getting views for years into the future. And if you want to take Instagram to the next level, once you're getting some free traffic from it and you're making some money from sales, you can reinvest some of that money into buying paid shout outs for your Instagram. And this is exactly how I've grown my Instagram to over 300,000 followers, but I've spent hundreds of thousands of dollars getting to that point. But you might be saying, Matt, why would you spend that much money just to get a bunch of followers? Well, I actually made a bunch of money back from selling my course from my Instagram as well. So you can use those new followers you get as traffic in order to promote products to them if you want. And then also make sure to post regular Instagram stories and take clips from your YouTube videos and upload them as Instagram reels because there's a lot of potential with Instagram reels right now for getting tons and tons of traffic. Free traffic source number three is by blogging. Now this might seem old fashioned, but a lot of blogs still get hundreds of thousands, if not millions of readers per month. So it can be a good way to still get some free traffic. And if you're writing scripts for YouTube anyway, might as well just repurpose them and put them up there on your own website using something like WordPress, Flow or Squarespace. And now let's get into
into paid traffic paid traffic source number one that's really good is YouTube ads and I say that due to the fact that you can retarget your viewers on YouTube by giving ads directly to anybody who's watched one of your YouTube videos in the past 540 days so essentially when people watch your YouTube videos you're building up an audience behind the scenes that then you can market to for over a year into the future which is really crazy and more and more people will start watching your YouTube videos are the most profitable ads that I run and if you find a good affiliate product like our product tube mastery you'll notice that in the affiliate support page we give you ads that you can use for completely free for advertising on YouTube if you want and in addition to the retargeting ads if you want to go after more of a cold audience as well I would recommend starting with keyword based ads which you just plug in a bunch of keywords you can get from a software like vidIQ placement ads where you put ads on videos that you go out there find on YouTube copy all the links into a document and then upload them into your Google Ads manager and then you can put ads on those videos and if you're using Google Ads already you can also then experiment with running some search ads I've had pretty decent success doing that also and then we have Facebook ads which I personally haven't done much of but I know a lot of affiliates who make tens of thousands of dollars per month running Facebook ads in addition to Instagram ads and both of them are owned by the same company meta but I recommend starting with YouTube ads and then adding more platforms on top of that step number three then is to post high quality content most affiliate marketing teachers will talk about posting high quality content but they don't go into specifics on what that actually means instead of you just going out there and guessing I want to give you specific details on exactly what to do and the four types of content that you should post and type number one is SEO research content this is going to be content created around keywords that people are searching for in relation to your niche and you can use a keyword tool like vidIQ which is good for YouTube and come up with a bunch of keywords that are related to your niche so for example let's say we're doing something about how to make money on YouTube I'm gonna come up with keywords like YouTube making money on YouTube earning on YouTube growing on YouTube and I'm just gonna make a list of all these different keywords that I just think of off the top of my mind and then I'm gonna plug them in individually into vidIQ and sort those keywords by the ones that are getting the highest amount of search volume and the lowest amount of competition and vidIQ actually uses something called an overall score which will weigh both of those for you and then you just go based off of that overall score on a score of 0 to 100 and the higher the better so you basically go through all those keywords find the ones that have the highest overall score from doing that from repeating that process and then create content around those subjects first and foremost content type number two is product reviews so for the product that you're promoting you can create a review giving your honest thoughts and feedback about it now in order to do this you do have to actually buy the product which like I mentioned earlier is a good idea in my opinion to do anyways this can also build a lot of trust with your audience to show that you've actually bought the product so you can tell them what's actually good about it or what's not so good about it and just being honest with your end audience is always the best policy the third type of content you should post are tutorials now tutorials are just simply step-by-step how-to information related to your niche so for example if we're gonna be making videos about how to make money on YouTube because that's what the course we're promoting is teaching then we're gonna create tutorials around problems that most people have within this niche so for example I would just go onto the YouTube search bar and type in how to YouTube and see all of the suggestions that come up for example how to create a YouTube channel how to get monetized on YouTube and all the other questions that people have and you can also use a website called answer the public and put in what your niche is and it'll give you tons of different tutorial ideas and questions that people are having around that topic that they're searching online it'll give you tons of amazing content ideas the fourth type of content I recommend creating are recreations of already popular content let me explain exactly what I mean by this so for example if we go on YouTube and our niche is about how to grow on YouTube we would simply search this and then sort the videos that come up by the highest amount of views uploaded in the past six months months and if you have the vidIQ extension it'll help you do this using a tool called the most viewed feature and it'll essentially just show you what has gotten the most amount of views in a specified time period and then you just basically want to go from top to bottom and making a list of videos or blog posts or Instagram posts whatever to recreate and that's due to the fact that this type of content is already done well so we know that there's an interest in it within our niche and we're not just guessing that doesn't mean however that we're gonna copy them word for word we're gonna simply take the best aspects from them rewrite it in our own words and create content that way. And for every one video that you post, I recommend getting at least three videos as inspiration.
inspiration for that, taking the best aspects from all of them, also going into the comment sections of those videos and seeing what people wanted to know more about, and then including all of that into your own video. And it stands the reason that your video would then be the best out of all of them. And it'll do better in the algorithm as, as long as you're optimizing it and everything as I teach. Step number four is then taking the next step. Now, the three steps that I went over before this are all very time consuming and they do take some time to set up. But that being said, once you get these done and if you want to take this to the next level, then it's time to take the next step, which is building an email list. And the easiest way to do this is to simply offer your audience a free resource. Now you might be saying, Matt, how do I create a free resource? Well, oftentimes products that you promote will actually give you a free resource to promote for free, but otherwise you can simply create one yourself within 30 minutes to an hour. And the way you do this is you just open up a Google document within Google drive and then make a top 10 guide or a how to guide related to your niche teaching one specific thing that people seem to be interested in. And at this point, you've already posted a lot of content so you should know what's doing well within your niche and what people are actually interested in, questions people have and everything, and just simply create a guide around that and then offer that as a PDF if people give you their email. And in order to collect emails, I recommend using a website called kajabi.com. It does cost a little bit of money, but it is worth it once you start making money, which at this point you should be getting some sales already. So then it's an incredible investment to get Kajabi because then you can start collecting emails. And the reason why that's important is because you can then send emails to people over over and over until eventually they buy a product, just giving them free value. Every time you upload a YouTube video, you send them an email. Every single time you create any type of content, send them an email. And from that, in return, people getting value over and over, every now and then you send an email promoting a specific affiliate link and you can get a ton of sales doing that. I make tens of thousands of dollars per month just sending a couple emails per month. So that just shows how powerful this can be. And the second thing I'd recommend is at this point, start thinking about your secondary traffic source. So if you've already started with YouTube, let's say you're making a couple thousand dollars per month from YouTube, then it's time to start thinking about maybe creating an Instagram account or a Twitter account. Just think about what your secondary source of traffic will be at this point. Step number five is optimization and taking things to the next level. At this point, it's important to look back over the content that we've uploaded and look at what's done good and what hasn't done so good and maybe reiterate on those content that didn't do good, making them better and better over time until eventually we upload something that does incredible. And keep in mind, 90% of all the views and sales and everything are only going to come from 10% of the content that you upload. As much great content as we can, because once we have, say, 100 videos and we're getting sales from just 10 of them, then we can see what those 10 are and recreate them, making them better and better also in order for you to get the results that you want with affiliate marketing. It's also important to stay up to date within your niche. So if something changed, it's important to create a piece of content about that, just keeping people up to date constantly. This will build a ton of trust with your community. Now, in order to give you as much value as I possibly can, I'm going to share with you three bonus tips when it comes to doing this. But before I do, if you got value from this video so far, make sure to hit that subscribe button so I can help you with making money online regularly. Bonus secret number one is creating a community. Now, community can be something like a Facebook group, a Discord community, or some type of place where people can congregate regularly and you can give value to those people by answering questions for free. And you might be saying, Matt, why would I answer people's questions for free? The reason is because the more goodwill we build up, the bigger chance that people convert in the future. And even if it's not right now, it might be next week, next month, next year, I'm getting sales all the time in my own program, as well as programs I'm an affiliate for, where they consumed a piece of my content years ago. And just over time, I've given them so much value to the point where they say, okay, it makes sense to invest in this. And this is an absolute no brainer. And the way you can get members to your Facebook group community is to promote it on your YouTube videos by posting in other Facebook groups, giving value for completely free, and then putting a call to action on the banner of your Facebook profile saying to join your group, and then putting the link to your group as your link in bio. And then every now and then you can do a sale in the group where you give people some bonuses if they buy through your affiliate link specifically. And that brings me to bonus secret number two, which is giving bonuses if they buy through your link. So a bonus can literally just be a video that you record for people giving a little bit of extra value. So you could 
could record a little mini course where you record just like four videos giving value on the subject. And you can tell people that if you buy through my link and then you verify that and send me an email or an Instagram DM or whatever, then I will give you access to this completely free course as a bonus. So then you can incentivize people to specifically buy through your link. And this is how you can get just an insane amount of sales as an affiliate. And the final bonus secret is to become a vendor yourself and sell your very own course because you're going to learn so much in this process that, that at a certain point, it may make sense for you to create your very own course and teach people whatever you know about. You might already even have a skill that people want to learn about or they ask you about. You can literally create a course on it, just record 30 videos talking about that subject in a step-by-step -step fashion, and you could potentially be sitting on millions of dollars that's within your own head right now. I make over $100,000 per month from selling my own online course, and I have a program called Quantum Courses, which teaches how I do this step-by-step. -step. Now, I can't guarantee you'll make 100,000 a month, but I show the exact tactics that both I do, as well as all of my successful students who are also selling courses. Now, feel free to check out this video next to me right here, which is essentially a free course and guide for growing on YouTube, because like I said, YouTube is the best traffic source for doing affiliate marketing. This will show you exactly how to do it, even without showing your face, if that's what you want to do. I'll show you exactly how to generate the content and everything right here. Thanks for watching, everybody. My name is Matt Parr, and I'll see you there.